Hello and welcome to Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. This is a new episode of the Comprehensive Guide to Color in Photoshop series. Today I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Cooler and to create your own color themes. You can now use loads of features on this amazing website. Plus, Cooler has also apps for uh, mobile devices with which you can also create your own color themes and use them in any of the Adobe applications. So let's go through the features. First of all, it's good to have an Adobe ID so you can log in and then use the ID to save your themes or just simply uh, create favorites from other themes that you find on Cooler. Essentially, there's always five different colors in a theme and uh, you can choose first of all to create explore or my themes these are the three main options when you are in create mode you can either use the color wheel to define five different colors or you can use an image which you can upload so let's just first uh, see how it works when we use the color wheel we have these five color stops here which i can move around and as you can see once i move one of them the other five will follow that's because we have a color rule set up, which is called analog colors. And the color wheel and all these swatches on the color wheel will follow that rule. So the distance between each color stop on the color wheel will be the same. So it will be always equal, the distance from each other. That's the color rule that we have set up here. If you choose monochromatic, then the hue will be the same on all of them and only the saturation and the brightness of each of the color stops will change. So as you can see, they all follow the same hue all around the color wheel. Then we can choose any of these other rules and whenever we have a rule set up, the changes will always maintain that rule throughout all the changes. But if I choose custom, then I can be completely free and move the uh, swatches around so I can set the hue, the brightness and the saturation very easily. If I scroll down a bit here at the bottom, we can see that each of these colors have all the values available already. So we can see what they are in CMYK, RGB, Lab, HSBC, which is Hue, Saturation, Brightness, and the hex code is there as well for Web. So it's very useful to see all this information. But what's most important is that we can save this theme. Now for this, you have to be logged in. So you have to have an account, an Adobe ID, and log in with that. And then you will be able to save your theme. Obviously, you can rename it. So let's just call this PSD Tuts Plus Test, like that. And then we can choose to have it private or public which is uh, quite a useful feature. So if you want to share it with others, you can always make it public. Uh, you can still edit it and you can even add a comment to it. And then you can always copy the link to share it with someone, download it. And also you can see a, a couple of information here when it was created, by whom it was created, how many time it was viewed and uh, other users can rate it as well. Another useful thing is if you want to really concentrate on your colors, you can click on them and then you will get a full screen preview of your color theme. Once you click on it again, it goes back to normal. Now, if I go to explore, then I can see color themes saved by other users. So uh, anything that's available uh, through the Adobe Cooler website will be available here. So there's my one, which I just saved because I've set it to public. It's also going to be visible here. And we can see there's a lot of uh, color themes here and we can always click on one to have a closer look. Uh, we can even edit anyone's themes and save it as our own custom version of that theme. We can always search for color themes or just choose most popular all month or week, uh, the filtering options for the most popular, most used as well. And we can also randomize uh, all the uh, color themes saved in this month, for example. If I want to see my themes that I created or I favorited, then I can just click on that option here on the top. 
And if we want to create a color theme based on an image, we just have to go back to create again, click on this little camera icon here, choose an image, and then on that image, we can set the swatches up. So we can choose uh, again, different uh, presets, which will find the colors on the image based on that. Like this is dark, that's bright, that's colorful and so on and so forth. But we can create our custom preset so we can choose these nice blue colors from the image. That's three blue colors, maybe one set to that pink color and then one can maybe one of these uh, green colors in the back or maybe one of these very bright uh, blue here. So once we have these colors, once again, we can click on save or switch to color wheel mode. And then we see the colors we picked up from the image and then we can fine tune these colors and then save them. And last but not least, we can use the Adobe Cooler app and we can pick up colors from anything that we see around ourselves. We can use it for prints, we can use it for a landscape and we can very easily save a theme. And once it's saved and synchronized with the Adobe ID, it will show up on the website as well. So this, what I just saved with my phone, will be also visible here in uh, my themes and it will be called Theme 3. So that's the one that I just saved with my phone. It's all synchronized. And if I want to download this, I can just simply click on download and it will save it and as an Adobe Swatch Exchange file, which can be loaded into any of the Adobe applications. So I can always go to Photoshop and uh, go to Cooler, which is going to be here in the window, Extensions Cooler, and it will open up. You have to have internet connection for this to be able to work properly. And here we can find the themes, the latest ones. So there's our one which we just created in the browser. So I can always add this to the swatches panel very easily. Let's just add that there. And I'm going to open the swatches panel as well. So I just go to window swatches. So there are the colors created. And um, if I want to add the other swatches as well, which we just downloaded from the other theme, I just have to find it, which will be on my desktop. And if I just open it with Photoshop, which is the default option, then it loads in those swatches as well very easily. And then if I want to save these swatches, I can always save them here in Photoshop as well. So that's a very good way to quickly get inspiration and find a great color theme that you want to work with, either from an image that you have on your computer, either from something that you see and just use your uh, mobile device for it to capture it, or using the browser with the, with the color wheel, or choose it from a theme that has been already created by someone else and saved on Cooler. So that's all what you need to know. Just make sure you try this feature out because it's all there. You can use it. You just simply need an Adobe ID to be able to save your own themes. And you will see how much fun it is when you can create color themes so easily and quickly uh, with Adobe Cooler. I hope you found this tutorial useful and make sure you join me next time as well here on Tots Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.